Hey there YouTubers, it's Don from Sure Cable, and today we're going to talk about debunking common misconceptions and myths surrounding coaxial cable. So, hold on just a moment, I'll be right back and we're going to get into it. Today I'm going to talk about a common misconception and myth surrounding coaxial cable. And that is something that needs to be debunked. And I wish I had a dollar for everybody that predicted that coaxial cable's dead. Well, it ain't dead. In fact, it's quite alive. As a matter of fact, we sell dual and quad shield coaxial cable because coaxial cable is used for cable, uh, cable TV still. It is used for audio visual applications. It's used for antennas and it's used for satellite TV systems. So a lot of people have predicted the death of coaxial cable, and I think I understand why. Coaxial cable used to be, a long time ago, used for ethernet data transmission. Now, if you've been listening to any of my videos, and you probably should, you know that ethernet, cable, ethernet is a protocol. And there's a purpose-built cable for that, copper twisted pair, category cable. But Ethernet also can run across coaxial too, believe it or not. And uh, although it's going to do it real slow like. And it's going, if you have dedicated uh, network interface cards for coaxial and an actual coaxial network, that's a slow network. Uh, so that did in fact die off. It's not used for that anymore. We're using more modern technology now, fiber, copper twisted pair, things like that. But uh, it is still usable for things like MOCA. For example, if your home has still uh, got uh, Series 6 coaxial cable in it, often referred to as RG6 in the past, then you can use that system uh, with what's known as MOCA. And that is essentially uh, a high frequency signal that's put over the coaxial line and then converted to Ethernet at one point. And you can actually construct an interior Ethernet network leveraging a coaxial cable. Who would have known? Uh, you have to go, obviously those adapters are going to cost some money, but it's, it's a possibility and it saves you from wiring your walls if needed. So how about satellite systems? Well, you need to get voltage out to the LNB, and that's the actual dish and the, the, all the electronics around the dish. How are you going to power it up? Well, short of an electrical outlet, you're not going to do it with fiber. So you're going to be doing it with, in fact, coaxial or something similar, and that the voltage is going to run over the coaxial copper conductor. So a coaxial cable is far from dead. It's got many applications that are outside of Ethernet, technolo or, uh, Ethernet protocol technology that make it still viable, still used, but it's also still used for your, you know, your internet connections at home too, and many businesses. Not everything's fiber these days. So it's, it's got a lot of life left in it. It's okay. It's not, it's not going to die. It's okay, really. So with that, I'm going to say you have a great day. Uh, please leave us a comment below. If you disagree with me, let me know. Let's start up a good conversation. I'm ready to debate. If you think coaxial is dead, and I mean dead, let me know. And we'll have a talk about that. Um, if you know about some other applications for coaxial that are going to keep it alive forever or a long time, let me know that too. But give us a subscribe, like our video, or dislike our video as you see fit. Leave a comment, and I'm, with that, I'm going to say you have a great day. Happy networking. Looking for some more low voltage action? Check out our website below. We have our Cable Academy. We got some awesome videos to check out, too. Stay tuned for some more.